<laughs> what else? Hey, doggy. <laughs> a hog. A hog. I got me. A propane tank. Click. We're empty. No, we're not. We got another round. <laughs> Look at the hole in that propane tank. Must be a shotgun slug of the 12 gauge variety. Yes, Hickok 45 over here. Uh, having more fun again than I ought to be having. With the, well, you can read, you know what it is, right? Yeah, it's the Ithaca model, 37 Deer Slayer Police Special. Yes, what else about it? It's a feather light. You've seen it before, unless you're brand new. And if you are brand new, you should be doing your homework and checking out all the videos. There's a lot of brilliant videos on our channel. Yeah, but we've done a couple of videos with this, but you know what? It's been like three or four years since we've had it out. I blame you all. You all should be reminding me. Actually, a few of you have. But uh, I just forget about some of these really cool handguns, rifles, shotguns. And this is really one of my favorites. It, it is. And uh, just haven't had it out. I feel very bad about that. And uh, just a neat old gun. I'll link to both the, the first video and the chapter two. This is going to be, guess what? You can read Slugfest. And uh, I'll let you learn more about this shotgun. It has some historical significance you know, in the movies and Los Angeles. And it's just a very, very common old shotgun uh, in the 20th century. The uh, Ithaca Model 37. And this is the police special uh, made from a deer slayer. You know, I mean, originally the really popular Ithaca deer slayer uh, shotgun. But this is the police model. And uh, it's, it's got an interesting sight on it. And I had to bend this one up. Uh, I think I've got to where it hits pretty much on. I can hold right on. In uh, earlier videos, I was uh, shooting low, I noticed. So I just bent that up a little bit. And I think <laughs> redneck sight adjustment. And I think I got it where I want it. So pretty neat. It, it works kind of like a, a Model 870 with a little release right there. Forget I'm always looking for my Mossberg release on the slide. And it has the slam fire capability. You know, check the videos out. We're going to shoot slugs today. Pause. And make sure you are shooting enough, too. I worry about some of you. You're not shooting enough. All right. I'll uh, shoot for you if you're not. How's that? We're over here at the Gong Club range. And we appreciate our Gong Club members over on Patreon. And uh, they pretty much built this range and keep it going. So we appreciate that help. We post some videos over there early on, uh, get a sneak preview. We do some uh, behind the scenes stuff over there and, uh, and uh, things like that. But uh, what was I going to say? I forgot. How about let's just load the firearm. So this is an old one. And uh, let's see. I've got these slugs are essentially the same. You've got the true ball. Deep penetrators, as they're called. we have got some of the low recoil. They all feel about the same to me, I think. Uh, nothing like a slug. Nothing like a slug, I'll tell you what. What an artillery piece. <laughs> it really is. A shotgun like this uh, with slugs in it is a big rifle to some extent right so what are we going to shoot i guess that slug went through it let's shoot that thing again <laughs> nice 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 how about this two liter Woo. okay i'm gonna go over there on the other hill and see if we can put one on the gong Nice, nice. <laughs> Those travel pretty fast, but there's a, a little bit of a delay, right? Let's hit that coffin over there. That's appropriate. Well, we'll try it again. I was going, uh, I think uh, my, my windage was perfect, except those all went either left or right, right? So let's try uh, some more ammo and shoot. That's not a giant target, but it's big enough I should be able to hit it, right? 
Okay, slugs. What can I say? If you've never fired a slug, you're uh, missing out on an important uh, old aspect of, of life. Something you should be enjoying on a regular basis. Okay? Let's uh, let's try that coffin. I don't like missing like that. When it's a target, I should be able to hit. I know it's not a rifle, but all right. There we go. Took my time. I'll try that left red plate. <laughs> I love it. My rifle. I'm going to try that uh, disc over there on the left underneath that hanging uh, ram. Because it'll fall off if I hit it. <laughs> ah, that thing spun around. I couldn't do that again in a million years. <laughs> oh, I mean it. Oh, that was amazing. Hit the gong. Gong. Oh, let's shoot. Well, let's shoot the propane tank again. <laughs> I love those big holes in it. I mean, that plate that spun around, it, it's sitting on a pedestal, and it's sitting on a piece of metal about that wide. And, I mean, I've, I've had that, that there for 20 years, I guess, and I've shot it with, with all sorts of things from, from up here on the hill. I've kicked it and everything else, and I, I mean, you couldn't make it do that. You could shoot it 100 times to try to do that, and you couldn't do it. That's, that's a weird thing about, uh, about bullets, really. Uh, one thing I have a lot of experience at, and John does too, is what bullets do. I know that sounds silly, but but you really, when they hit a, a, an old tree or they hit the ground or a rock or a target, because we find them lying around and just different things, they do strange things sometimes. Uh, so you always have to be extra careful if you're not 100% sure what they're going to do. We had another round in there. That, that is one of the disadvantages, like if you short shuck this, you might think you're empty because you, you can't just take a quick look as easily. You got to turn it upside down. You see the round in the carrier in there. In there. Uh, that's one of the uh, kind of weird uh, aspects. Like I mentioned in one of the other videos, it's like a bullpup. You got to look from the, from the bottom and see what you got there. But, uh, and then I point out about how, let's go ahead and put that safety on and put it in the chamber. And then we'll put some more in. But some of the unique features of this, uh, one of them is, of course, the, the bottom eject. Most of them load from the bottom, but this one's also bottom eject. And so it's ambidextrous, ambidextrous in that sense. And, and of course, the slam fire feature, which I do uh, demonstrate both of the earlier videos. If you're not familiar with that, check those videos out. You just hold the trigger down and work the pump, and it'll keep firing. It's not a machine gun, but. All right, let's put a couple on the wall down there. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa, wow, <man>. shotgun. <laughs> man, maybe I'll, I'll try to hit that two liter. I Sure, I won't hit it, but I'll take a shot at it. Hey, what do you know? Got my rifle sighted in. <laughs> pretty nice little bead sight there. So uh, that's pretty cool. I might just, uh, I might just move forward. I load it up, and we might just go down there and work on that wall some more. You know, I think it deserves it, don't you? Oh, yeah, what, before we uh, move away, anything else here I need to tell you about this thing? It's just neat because I've, I've slobbered on it, I know, in other videos, but these old old pump shotguns, they're just hard to beat, you know. They all tend to work. They're, they're pretty reliable. Of course, watch it break down on me here. But uh, they just tend to work. And uh, fun to shoot. They shoot fast enough. Semi-auto is fun. And a shotgun, too. But uh, I my... My first love, I think, in a shotgun is a pump. It, uh, and, and I know a lot of y'all feel the same way. I see comments on, on, on shotgun videos. And 
and all that. Now, although there's some people who disagree, let's go ahead and put one in the chamber. Safety's on, so we can load her up here fully. Uh, you know, some of you just swear by a, a semi-auto, and that, that's fine too. Uh, you know, advantages, we talked about that in other videos, comparing and everything, you know, more of a one-handed armed operation with a semi-auto, but then again, you can operate these pretty well with one arm if you had to, one hand. Uh, I've demonstrated that. The you know, good old pump shotgun is, is, is hard to beat, no doubt about it. Let's move up a little bit and uh, take a shot at that wall. As we move up, y'all want to see the holes in this propane before we shoot again? Take a look at that. Wow. What in the world did he shoot that with? <laughs> oh, man. Don't let Chucky Schumer see that. Dying Feinstein. Wow. Oh no, they didn't even go through that thing. Look at that. Wow. What a hole. Oh, amazing. Okay. Let's get over here and take a couple shots and hit the wall. Sorry, John, we may have to build another wall after this video. What if I can hit that uh, two liter on the ground, that blue one? Hey, wow, I like this rifle. Man. <laughs> nice, nice. Maybe since I'm over here, let's take another shot at the... Uh, well, let's try that plate hanging beside the uh, ram. Boom! <laughs> that rocked it. I'll put a couple more in since I happen to have some in my pocket. I always be prepared. Have a couple extra shotgun shells with you no matter where you go. Unless you're going to school, wouldn't advise that. Make sure you're legal. <laughs> it's always the best policy, right? Yeah, I think I'm just not finished. I gotta shoot a few more here. All right, that's good. Let's put uh, let's put one on. Uh, let's put a couple more on the wall. Boom. And let's put a couple on the gong. Got one more, put him on the gong. <laughs> Doggies. Nice old shotgun. Nothing like a pump shotgun. And again, the Deer Slayer, the uh, Ithaca Model 37. Uh, I'll tell you all about that, that, that shotgun. Some of it might even be true in those earlier videos. Uh, and on top of the history of it, it's just a, a good looking gun. I mean, am I sick? But it really is. It's just a good looking old gun. I've got the pad on it, of course, extender, but just a neat old, old shotgun and a lot of fun to shoot. No doubt about that. So no more lies. I can tell you about it. Just thought a slug fest would be in order. We haven't had a slug fest for a while and I have uh, missed it. I really needed uh, to do a slug fest. So this was as much for me more for me than you, sorry. I'm really selfish, I just needed to get some slugs out and sling them. So glad you came along though, it's a beautiful day uh, here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, you know, it's always a beautiful day if you've got a pocket full of slugs and a shotgun though, right? So we'll see you later, appreciate your support. Uh, life is good. I always wanted to do that. Okay, since you guys are here at the end of the video, I want to remind you of our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They're a fully accredited online distance learning program where you become certified in gunsmithing uh, or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. It's sdi.edu. And also, a uh, big announcement lately on the channel, our shirts are now with uh, Matt from Demolition Ranch's new company, Bunker Branding. So you can find shirts like this and many others over at uh, bunkerbranding.com slash 45 or just go uh, into the description and look for the link. And also you can go to our website and find that stuff and more things like Hickok, or our website is called hickok45.com. And you can also find our uh, Twitter, which is hickok45, 
Facebook, Hickok45, uh, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. Uh, there is a Hickok45 and Son YouTube channel. There is a John underscore Hickok45 Instagram. Our videos are also on full30.com. And uh, also those of you who have been asking us to become a Patreon member, you can also find the link to that in the description. And we appreciate all those people, of course. And basically anything that you need to know is uh, probably going to be on the website somewhere. So we try to keep it easy for you guys. You know, there's no excuses because we know you're already on the internet. If you're looking at this, you're probably on the internet. So all you got to do is open your browser. And if you're on your TV, I know you got a phone in your pocket. So no excuses. All right. Uh, okay, now what you should do is uh, watch one of these other other videos, as long as it's one of ours, because everything else is uh, is not good, of course. All right, thank you.